The British Ministry of Defense, MOD, had a requirement for a new group of tracked armored vehicles to replace the earlier CVR, T, family. The development of these vehicles began around 2010. General Dynamics took charge of creating the new armored vehicle family, basing it on the Ascot 2 infantry fighting vehicle. At the core of this fresh British vehicle lineup is the Ajax Reconnaissance Vehicle, which is set to replace the FV-107 Scimitar. The Ares is essentially an armored personnel carrier variant of the Ascot 2 IFV, designated to take over the role of the FV-103 Spartan within the British Army. In 2014, the British MOD placed an order for a total of 59 Ares armored personnel carriers, in addition to several other vehicles from the same armored vehicle family. This order encompassed a total of 245 Ajax variants, which included the 59 Ares APCs and 34 Formation Reconnaissance Overwatch vehicles. The first two Ares vehicles were handed over to the British Army in 2019 for training purposes. The initial batch of production Ares vehicles was delivered in 2020. The plan is to complete delivery of all Ares armored vehicles by 2024, with an intended service life of at least 30 years. These newly designed armored vehicles are manufactured in the United Kingdom. The Ares vehicle has a specialized role as a combat team carrier, which means it operates not as a carrier for infantry sections, but as a platform for combat engineers, battlefield reconnaissance, or air defense missile teams. Its purpose is to provide armored transport and support for specialized troops across the battlefield. The Ares will work alongside other armored vehicles within the Ajax family. Crewed by three personnel, commander, driver, and gunner, the Ares can accommodate up to seven fully equipped specialists. The vehicle also offers space for specialized and personal equipment of the soldiers, with internal racks and boxes for storage. Additional equipment can be attached externally. Troops enter and exit the vehicle through rear doors, while roof hatches serve for observation, firing, and emergency exit. Technologically advanced, the Ares is equipped with modular armor and innovative protection against mine blasts. It boasts the best protection and survivability in its category, offering a high level of defense against small arms fire, artillery shell fragments, and mine explosions. The crew and passengers sit on mine blast-resistant seats. The vehicle is also outfitted with an electronic countermeasure system, laser warning system, local situational awareness system, and other systems. As of now, the Ares seems to be among the most secure armored personnel carriers available. An add-on armor kit can be installed when necessary, and improved armor modules can be added when they become available. The Ares has a weight of approximately 30 tons, which increases to around 40 tons with add-on armor. Given its weight, the protection level of the Ares is comparable to that of a heavily protected infantry fighting vehicle. The Ares is equipped with a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. This system can engage ground targets as well as low-flying air threats, including helicopters and UAVs. The armored vehicle is powered by a German MTU V8199 TE21 turbocharged diesel engine, generating 805 horsepower. The engine is positioned at the front of the hull and paired with a German Rank 256B 6-speed fully automatic transmission. The Ares boasts ample power, having successfully towed an additional weight of 62 tons over a distance of 300 kilometers during trials. This suggests that the armored vehicle holds growth potential for the next 30 years.